Okay. This is my uh, humanor hacienda here. And I'm doing some rebuilding on it because of the uh, posts, some of the posts rotted. Actually, you can see down here, this thing's pretty well rotten. So I'm replacing them, fortifying these uh, vertical posts. But uh, the reason I'm making this little video here is to show you what the compost looks like when the side has been removed. I just took these boards off, the same as these boards. They were here. When I took them off, you can see that there is this layer of cover material down the entire side. And that goes for all sides of this compost. Uh, the technique that I teach when you put compost, new, new organic material in there, I keep a wire on it, take that off, take the thermometers out, pull this cover material, this happens to be straw, aside. Put, dig into the compost, make a uh, depression, put your fresh material into the hole, cover it with the compost, and then uh, rake the cover material back over it and add fresh cover material on top. So what, in a sense, what you're doing, every time you pull that cover material off, you're creating this this edge of cover material that goes all the way around and it creates a, essentially, a, a cushion between the compost and the side walls of your bin. So, people are always emailing me and asking me what about blocks, what about steel, what about this, what about these other materials that I make the bin out of. Well, if you use this technique, it doesn't matter what your materials are because your compost doesn't really come up against the side of the bin. It comes up against your cushion of cover material. So, um, that's basically it in a nutshell. Uh, this bin is actually full doesn't look it, it's got a lot of space in it, but I'm, right now this is a year when I've been living alone and so I'm not making as much compost. Um, and I'm getting ready to switch to the other side. This side is empty. And I'm going to start filling this side as soon as I get done with my reconstruction here. But uh, this just happens to be a good opportunity to show what your compost bin contents should look like if you're correctly using a cover material, raking it aside, and filling it as you go. You'll end up with this material, cover material around the edge that not only prevents anything from coming out of the bin and prevents the compost from coming in contact with the bin, but it also uh, creates um, an insulating cushion for cold temperatures. Helps keep your compost from freezing in the winter. So, uh, Joe Jenkins, uh, July 4th, uh, 2014. 35 years now at the old homestead here in about a month.